Welcome to Baron Says. I have another smokeless grill video for you. No, this is not the power smokeless grill. This is the shack smokeless grill. So we're gonna try that out for the first time. We're gonna do some uh, bone-in pork chops here. Give you a look at those. Um, that's what we're doing today. Let's check out this grill. Okay, I'm back and it's preheated. I cleaned the grills, I cleaned the drip tray. Um, try to get the chemical smell out of it. Apparently you cannot use this unless you use the timer. Um, so you can't just free range cook on it. It's in and, and if this timer expires, it uh, automatically turns off. So if you're just trying to free wing it, it's not going to happen. It's going to micromanage you. Can't say that I'm very happy with that. But I'm going to try it regardless. Um, I normally don't read manuals, but I read the manual on this one because of how restricted this seems to be. Um, it says not to put more than a two inch piece of meat in there. For pork chops, it says 20 to 25 minutes. So I'm going to put them in there for 20 because these ones are thin. These are like half inch to quarter inch. So I don't think it's going to take that long. So as you can see, it's counting down here. I said at 20. So let's go ahead and reset the time and set our pork chops on. I have both plates on. You can see right here, those little squigglies. That means they're both on. This one's for the top one. And you can set the fan too, which I'll probably do to see what it does. All right, so let's get open here. Oh yeah, and I can't open it past my cabinet here. Look at that. I mean, and this is not an entirely short cabinet. I mean, this it's about 20 inches tall or 20 inches away from the countertop there. And that's still, yeah, I don't know. That's, that's not safe. I mean, like if I'm reaching down here, what if that falls on me? I don't know. Kind of scary. But nonetheless, let's put these on here and reset the timer. Says not to use any metal on it for the non-stick surface. Doesn't like metal. Got four small pork chops here and looks like they're barely gonna fit. So the cooking space is not as good as the power smokeless grill either. I mean, I'm already crowded on this grill. And honestly enough, that's that's kind of poopy, and I mean, because most people, I guess somebody using this is probably not going to be cooking for four. But uh, it would be nice to be be able to. It says that it cooks for six, but yeah, if it's just wimpy little frozen hamburgers, probably. Okay, so there we are. We're all on there. You can hear it sizzling. All right, we'll set our timer here. For 20, put the fan on. Now we're going to close it. All right, so we're going to let it do its thing for 20 minutes. Um, I actually might come and check on it here in about 10, just to see how it's doing. Okay, we're back. It's been roughly 10 minutes. Let's take a look. Okay. So it looks like we're going to need the full 20 minutes. It's a little white look in there. Smells good. Um, you know, one thing that's great about this is it really is smokeless. I have not seen any smoke from it. And you can actually see that smoke going right in the fans there. Look at that. So yeah, it, it's really not smoking. So as far as being a smokeless grill, it's, it's really doing its job. Um, I am an old school type person. I like to do things manually, but I do. But I will admit, it, it is a nice idea to set a timer and walk away. So uh, um, let's go ahead and flip these and see what they look like on the bottom high, bottom side there. Might be a different story. Yeah, it is. So the top plates don't seem to get as hot as the bottom grill here, but uh, we're totally gonna need the next the extra 10 minutes here look pretty good though 
I do have to admit, it looks pretty good. What do you think? Alright, so let's check it out for an end result. I'll be back. Okay, we're down to the last 10 seconds here. Uh, let's go ahead and check it out. I'll let you see that it turns off here when the timer turns down. Or expires. It turns off the unit. And it's not doing it. <laughs> Maybe I have to open it. Yeah, when I was preheating it, 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 it turned off. Oh. And it just stays off. It's like, I am not going to risk it with you. See, that's just so scary to me how I can't open that lid all the way and feel like it's going to fall on me. Alright, so there we go. Let's look at the other side real quick. I would say that these are done. I'll go ahead and... Alright, I was having trouble with my temperature gauge there, but I, I'm pretty sure that these are done. I could, I could see it. I'll be back with the end result. Okay, so I'm here with the end result. Uh, I got two plates here. For two people. <laughs> and this is what we ended up with. Looks pretty good. Let's cut into this meat and see what it's like. Looks cooked to me. It's white hot. Taste test now. Not bad. Pretty good. I usually use a lot of, uh, well not a lot. I usually use butter when I cook my pork chops. So I can definitely tell that that is missing. But it's still good. So, as far as a recommendation for me, if you're not a, if you're not a cook, totally. It's perfect. It'll manage it for you. It'll do everything for you. You only have to think. You just leave it on like a crock pot. So, so thanks for watching. Please thumbs up. Subscribe. Have a good one.